garbage in. Yes. Uh, the St. Louis Film Festival is kicking off, and we get a parade of uh, great independent movies that come in and a uh, chance to uh, hear and see these movies. Um, and if you don't hear them here, you probably aren't going to know they're out there. And if you're looking for good movies, while well, the St. Louis Film Festival always has great movies, Lita Van... Van Cavage? That is correct, sir. I, I think you should be called Van Cleavage, but that's a whole other <laughs> Would story. Would that it were? Would that it were? Uh, <laughs> your new movie called The Champions debuts November 8th at 1230 at the Tivoli, part of the St. Louis Film Festival. Good morning and thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here with both of you. Oh, Louis, she's sucking up from <laughs> the very beginning. She knows. She I'm good. a lobbyist and a lawyer. Oh, you got oh, you, man. oh that explains it. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, I'm going to walk out here without a shirt on. I see how it works. Uh, tell us about the movie The Champions. The Champions follows six of the Michael Vick dogs. Uh, we like to call them the Victory Dogs mm-hmm. because they really did, you know, they 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 were champions. They they survived. They thrived. Some became service dogs. Some became therapy dogs. I mean, it's amazing the resiliency of these animals. Take us back. What did Michael Vick went to jail for dog fighting? He what went, what he, happened to those dogs? Well, basically, um, most of the dogs uh, survived. Uh, one was euthanized because of temperament one was euthanized because of health problems Mm -hmm. and then the rest were divvied out among different rescue groups best friends who i work for for our best friends animal society in Kanab, utah we got 22 of the michael vick dogs how many dogs were there um there were 54 wow so so basically we got the most dogs and we got the ones that were the most damaged the ones that were shut down the ones that were afraid if you looked at them they would they would pancake they would flatten you know they just did they didn't want to be noticed because they thought they'd be drug out and fought now were these these were fighting dogs or they were, were they? sir they were sir yes so but they were so even though they fought for their lives in the ring when they met humans they were so afraid of humans that they just lied down because they were afraid that they would be thrust into another fight I mean, they did not, you know, they did not want to fight. Now, the, we did get Lucas, which was um, his three-time grand champion. Mm-hmm. And he was extremely friendly to people because I'm sure he was treated well, mm-hmm. scarred, you know, up. All, and you they know, incredibly. Probably didn't have any human, much human contact. I'm, I'm sure they didn't. I'm sure they didn't, except when they were drug up and fought. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and then, you know, the things that they did to the dogs that didn't win were horrific. They would electrocute them. You know, they would break their backs. I mean, it was drown them. It okay, was, was it? Okay, th- because they didn't win, they were just sort of trying to... Like, they, get them to fight harder? Well, they were, I'm sure they were angry that they lost. Or why, you know, spend your money for, you know, to keep the dogs that were losers. Right. You know, so they... Are all these dogs pit bulls? Yes. Well, the the... There were a few beagles on site that went to a different rescue group, but all the dogs that came to Best Friends and were fought were pit bull terriers. Why beagles? Pe- people don't think of beagles when you think of fighting no, dogs. No, no, but I'm sure they were had them for some other reason, maybe hunting. Oh, I, I, don't oh, know. I see what yeah, you're saying. Okay. Yeah. So St. Louis, we currently have how many of those Vic dogs? Well, actually, in the St. Louis metropolitan region, there aren't any of the Vic dogs around, but... A lot of dogs are alive because of the Vic dogs. The Missouri 500 bust, the largest bust in United States history, took place, you know, after the Vic case. And prior to that time, the, the you know, they would euthanize all the dogs, all the puppies seized in fight bus. But because of the Vic dogs, they started rehabilitating them. And so most of the Missouri 500 dogs made it out alive thanks to the Vic dogs. All right, the and m- I have one of those dogs. The, the, the movie is November 8th, 1230 at the Tivoli. Are you from St. Louis? I, I'm from Collinsville, Illinois. Yes, I'm okay, from the area. But these dogs ended up in Salt Lake City or in U- Utah? Uh, in Utah, Kanab, Utah, okay. yes. And yes. so how did you, were you just part of that that organization? Or? I was, um, I came to work for Best Friends uh, pretty soon after the Vic okay. case mm-hmm. because of their wonderful work there. They recruited me and um, I joined them and it's, it, I love working for Best Friends. And you're saying that these dogs that were so afraid uh, uh, to talk to or to have any type of human interaction went on to become service dogs? Is that, well, it depends. Yes. So one of the dogs some did become a service dog. One became a therapy dog. But some of the dogs were normal. I mean, some of the dogs were, you know, just dogs and they were able, they were pretty resilient. They didn't need much training. Right. But the ones that best friends got were the most damaged because they figured they'd need long-term sanctuary care. Right. Uh, in the movie, do you talk to Michael Vick at all? Um, no, they, they attempt to, <laughs> but um, no go. Right. So, um, but they're 
are some shots of, of Michael Vick in the case and, and of people trying to confront Michael Vick. And, you know, he never apologized to the dog. Uh, now, hold on a second. <laughs> I thought Michael Vick apologized on camera and he went to jail for two years? He went to, He said he was sorry, but he's never like, you know, he's never contacted best friends and, and asked about any of the dogs. Wasn't, um, wasn't a controversy that, was it the Humane Society sat down with him? Yes, and actually... And gave him cover, in a sense? The, he, they did, they did, you know, and actually the Humane Society of the United States changed their, their stance on fight bus dogs. Initially, they and PETA were calling for all the Vic dogs to be killed. Mm-hmm. Um, after the Vic case, they saw what, you know, that they realized their position was wrong and they now help rehabilitate fight bus dogs. Right. Uh, how big of a how big of an issue is dog fighting in America? You know, it's it's on the wane, thank goodness, because a lot more enforcement, a lot a lot more busts are going on and they're getting sentences. You know, Michael Vick ended up, you know, his sentence was 23 months. I think he served 18 months. Right. So, you know, he went, you know, he went away for a goodly time. But he also said that he he was brought up around dogfighting, so he didn't know anything else, and he just thought it was sort of quite normal because that's what he knew. Yeah, I mean, it, it's so ridiculous that they think, you know, oh, the dogs like this, or oh, they don't feel pain. I mean, they are sentient creatures that do feel pain. You know, it's just there's so many myths about pit bull terriers out there. It's it's amazing. Yeah. What does Mark Burley? Um, what does he have to do? He lives so, in St. So Louis. Bur- what does he have Burley to do with it? Um, lives in the St. Louis area, but he was traded to Toronto. Toronto has a breed discriminatory law outlawing, you know, pit bull terriers. Ontario, the whole province does. So he, his family, could not move to Ontario to be with him during the season because they, they have a pit bull. Because they have a pit bull terrier named Slater, who's a great dog. And so they talk about he's in the film, you know, and he talks about the hardship on his family. Hmm. Uh, it is November 8th, 1230 at the Tivoli. And it's free. The movie is called The Champions. How long is the movie? Um, it's about an hour and a half. An hour and a half. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's all part of the St. Louis Film Festival. Uh, Lady Van Cavage. Van Cavage. Van Cavage. <laughs> Lady Van Cavage, you're a lobbyist, huh? I, I'm a lobbyist and a lawyer, yeah, for animals, so it's a great gig. No, nah, still no excuse. You're a lobbyist. <laughs> no, it's for a good cause. No, it doesn't He's matter. No, 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 no. You're a lobbyist. You're one of those. You're one of those people. All right. Uh, thanks for coming in. Thank you, sir. You got it. Uh, 855 here, Big 550 KTRS. All right.